In fairy tales, children dream of running away to the circus. But for these children, the dream was to come home. It's hard to believe, looking at their happy faces, that they share a wretched and miserable past. At this moment, there are 500 Nepalese children, mostly girls, some as young as five, living and working as circus performers in India, victims of a terrible trafficking trade that we discovered and that we alone are rescuing them from. Children like Prema, who was sold into a circus 600 miles from home at the age of six. Her sister remains trapped and Prema longs to see her freed. Shantu was only four when he was left at a circus by his father, crying in fear. His job, for the next five years, was to take girls to the circus owner's tent at night. He spent all his time yearning for home. Lakshmi is one of eight children from a desperately poor family. For many months after she arrived in our care, she cried in her sleep every night, haunted by her memories of circus life. Every one of these children worked 18-hour days rehearsing and performing frightening and dangerous acts. If injured, they had to carry on. Beatings were routine and fierce. One girl told us she was hit if she smiled too much in a show and hit if she smiled too little. These children lived as prisoners in crowded, leaking tents, never allowed into the outside world and denied any contact with their families. Starving and traumatized when we find them, some have suffered violent and repeated sexual abuse. Girls tell of the dread of being called to the circus owner's tent at night and of forced abortions. Many children now live in our care, learning to readjust and to trust adults again, catching up on years of lost schooling and discovering how to have fun and express themselves. We reunite them with their families where possible, or provide long-term homes where not. They need expert care and emotional support to recover, and they do so with amazing spirit and courage. For several hundred older girls, they face the added problem of being shunned by families who view them as tainted. We provide support groups and education, together with training in farming, catering and small businesses that lead them to real jobs, restoring their self-esteem and ensuring an independent future. We are committed to freeing children from circuses the length of India and helping victims the breadth of Nepal to build a new life. To achieve this goal, we need money to set up more residential and training facilities to meet overwhelming demand. Rescue work is dangerous, and so is tackling the trafficking agents who prey on innocent children. But it must be done. Already we have put some traffickers behind bars, but we need resources to extend our legal actions if we are to end this horrific trade for good. For this we need your help. In India it is illegal to use wild animals as performers in circuses. The Esther Benjamin's Trust is fighting for the same right for children. <laughs>